What's up guys, this is iTweets here with iPhoneHacks.com and today Aki 1.3 has been released. Now if you guys aren't familiar with Aki, then basically it is a quick compose, quick reply tweak that I've actually been using on my main device ever since its release. But you can see right here, if we go ahead and tap on our settings and we open up the Aki settings, you can see that we have all the same settings right here except we have a new toggle right here called security mode. Now what this is going to do is going to disable quick reply right there on the lock screen. So if you enable that, you're not going to be able to quick reply on your lock screen. So just a little another layer of security with this tweak. Now if we scroll down here, you still have your dark mode and your light mode, but one thing that is cool about this in the new update in 1.3 is the keyboard actually themes to the light theme or the dark theme depending on which one you have selected. So you can see right here, if I pull down my notification center and then we quick compose, we get a dark keyboard. So if we cancel that again and we go back in here and we open up the light or we set the light and we pull this down, you can see that it actually themes the keyboard to match that message box right there. Also another cool feature that you get with the new update, if you pull down the notification center and then we make a quick compose, you can see right here we can actually type in whatever number that we want. It doesn't have to be a contact that you have in your contacts list. You can type in whatever number you want and it's going to allow you to send a message to that number which can sometimes be helpful. So right here I'm going to send myself a message and we should see a banner notification pop up right here and once we get that banner notification you're going to see something brand new when we open up the quick reply. So you can see right here, if I open up Quick Reply, if I swipe to the left, you'll see that we have these three dots over here. And what that does is give us the ability to see the last three messages that we received from this contact. So a really cool feature added to Aki. So a nice little update for Aki. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. And all right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.